children i hope you are fine and today we are going to read about chapter 9 climate and seasons of india climate and seasons of india in this chapter we know about what is climate what are the different seasons in india how do they affect us how does our life get affected in this in this seasons so we learn all these things about in this chapter children today we are going to discuss about the climate of india india has a variety of climates and uh, many a time we experience extreme climate you must uh, you must have seen and experienced that from the month of march till june we experience severe summer here the sunshine is too intense and uh, it is too hot uh, we we can see as soon as the summer step in we can see that the juice stalls the sugar cane juice stalls the lassi stalls they spring up in every nook and corner of the streets and after that from july from july or june last week till september we have rainy season and rainy season is very severe in india starting month is very pleasant and all the farming processes goes on and gradually when the rain increases by the end of monsoons we find that all the rivers are flooded many places are just submerged in water and it's a lot of loss to life and property and damage is done to life and property and we see in the last phase of monsoon that the armed forces of our country they are engaged in the relief work in picking up the people who are stranded in the flood waters and they are they are just the relief materials and first aid is sent to them from uh, october from october to february month just from october month just mildly it starts uh, cold very mild cold starts and from november to february the every every part of india experiences extreme cold mostly the northern uh, region or the northern parts of india they experience severe cold waves and the roads are foggy with very uh, very less opacity very less uh, opacity means very less you can see on the road visibility is very low and hence it is prone to accidents and all and uh, then the fog is intense a bit and this season also is very beautiful because very colorful winter wears come out and uh, thus uh, the uh, it is very pleasant to see to go to school with uh, with with school children wearing school jackets and all and winter has, every season has its own beauty when the monsoon season brings a lot of greenery and uh, and the mother earth wears a new look with fresh green uh, cov cover is seen everywhere the winter season is very pleasant with uh, with beautifully people wearing very nicely in the cold you can see people they just burn burn they have burn fire and they sit near uh, fires and this period mostly the uh, the winter period is uh, it, it is just filled with indian festivities are there so in this chapter we are going to learn about the various aspects of climate of india weather is the condition of the atmosphere over a short period of time the climate of a place refers to its weather over a long period of time 
For example, when we say that today is a very hot day, we are talking about the weather. However, when we say that it is hot during May, we ref- are referring to a longer period of time that is a month. This longer period of time refers to the climate of the place. The climate of a place depends on various factors. They are temperature of a place during the year, amount of rainfall throughout the year, landforms places near the sea have moderate climate the mountains have cool temperatures the plains are warm and the deserts are hot and dry distance from the equator places that are closer to the equator have hotter and humid climate than those that are away from it. Direction of wind during a particular time of the year. Based on these factors, there are three main climatic patterns in India. We call them seasons. The three main seasons of India are summer, winter and rainy. Starting from the middle of March, the summer season in India goes up till the middle of June. During this time of the year, temperature is high and it is very hot. The days are longer than the nights during summer. Most places in India experience a hot summer while the temperatures are not high in coastal areas there is humidity in the air because they are close to the sea a hot and dry wind called the loo blows in some regions of the north some places like deserts experience dust storms The southern part of India is less hot than northern India because it is a peninsula. Thus, while northern parts of India experience extreme climate, it stays rather moderate in southern India. High altitude regions such as hills 
are comparatively cooler. Many people thus like to visit hill stations during summer. They also like to drink cold drinks to keep themselves refreshed. Mangoes, watermelon, cherries, grapes, peaches and jamun are the summer fruits which are mostly available. People can be seen refreshing themselves on the streets during summer. In India, it is usually rains between June and September. The monsoon winds blow from the Bay of Bengal and the Arabian Sea. These winds carry moisture and form clouds which give us rain. The distribution of rainfall varies from one place to another. Meghalaya receives the maximum rainfall while Rajasthan does not receive much rain. Very heavy rains cause floods in some places while low or no rainfall causes drought during the year. The monsoons are important because the rain provides adequate water for agriculture and also helps to fill the rivers, lakes, ponds and other water body. The monsoon fruits include custard apple and apples. Mohsin Ram in Meghalaya is one of the wettest places on the earth. The period from November to February is relatively cold in India. This is when most part of the country experience winter. Within this period, December and January are the coldest months. The days are short and the nights are longer. The northern regions experience extreme winters, while the southern regions experience a moderate and pleasant winter. Winds from the west called western disturbances lead to rainfall in plains and snowfall in mountains. Some places turn cold and foggy. Winter fruits found in India are apples, oranges, kiwis, etc. Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand experience snowfall in winter and people come from other cities to enjoy. So children, the climate of the place different depend on various factors. Various factors are responsible for the climate of the place. First, can you please zoom it? The temperature. Temperature throughout the year. So, if, a play, if the temperature throughout the year is calculated, then the amount of rainfall throughout the year, amount of rainfall of a place throughout the year, how much rainfall that place did have. About the landforms, suppose it is a mountainous region, it will have a cold climate. If it is near the sea, it will have moderate climate. If it is a desert, it will have hot climate. If it is plain, it will have it too will have hot climate. Now distance from the equator. The places which are uh, nearer to the equator will have hot, uh, torrid. It will have hot climate, very hot climate. But if a place uh, it is away from, as it goes far away from the equator, 
it will be cooler and cooler. So direction of the wind. If the wind comes from mountain, let's let's take an example. If the wind comes from Himalayas, then the wind will be colder. If the wind comes from um, Rajasthan or a desert region, then the winds will be warmer. And thus these factors will affect the climate of a place. In the in the snippet, not in the previous uh, snap you saw the snippet which is in your book, and in the snippet you will see it is mentioned that Mohsin Ram is the wettest place on the earth because it rains daily in Mohsin Ram. So the uh, it gets an annual rainfall of eleven thousand eight hundred seventy two millimeters, which is the wettest region of of the world, and. Uh, Amboli, Maharashtra and Chinnakar in Tamil Nadu are also wettest regions in the country. In India, spring falls around the month of March and is the transition period between winter and summer. It is very pleasant during this time and it is neither too hot nor too cold many plants and trees start flowering during this time autumn comes after rainy season and before the start of winter usually occurring in the month of october this is a pleasant season too and is a time when many trees shed their leaves the days and night appear equal during the some spring and autumn seasons many of india's harvest festivals like basant panchami sankranti and lodi fall in the month of January. This marks the beginning of the harvest season. People celebrate the fruitful result of farming during these festivals. Do you know what global warming is? Global warming is the term used to describe the rising temperature of the earth. Global warming has to do with the overall climate of earth and not the weather. Scientists say that this increase in the temperature may result in melting of glaciers, rise in ocean levels, extreme weather conditions, etc. The largest human influence has been the emission of greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide in the global atmosphere. So we should plant trees and reduce the emission of greenhouse gases so as to maintain the temperature of the earth. Children, let me explain you about global warming. Global warming, the term global warming is 
a very uh, as you know globe means our earth warming means the warming of our earth now just imagine please listen this seriously and attentively just imagine that the, we are inside all of us are we are inside a room and just we have uh, burnt a little bit of fire there and the doors are closed little smoke will rise though we will feel uncomfortable then it's okay we can breathe and gradually when the smoke will fill up the room one time will come we will feel suffocated and still if the smoke is not stopped then a time will come we all will die the same is with global warming now let me explain you global warming this is the ground earth here we are some sometimes we are burning something here we are uh, then uh, uh, fumes of the chimney smoke are going on it is like this all the activities are going on we have a cover of atmosphere on the earth we have atmospheric earth air which uh, maintains the temperature of the earth which regulates the life on the earth but when these fumes are going away the vehicular uh, vehicular fumes are going smoke is going all these things are accumulating here it is accumulating here and it is making like we are in the room and the room is making is is filling up with smoke this all this uh, smokes and everything in higher classes you will learn they are emitting co2 carbon dioxide which traps the sun's energy sun's light and make the air hot as a result the ice polar caps which are the ice which is there on the um, which is uh, accumulated on the polar regions are melting and when the ice will melt the sea level will rise land will get submerged and due to the uh, global warming there is one layer in in higher classes you will learn ozone layer it is depleting very fast and if it will finish it will it will deplete then what will happen then we will have various uh, sick, we will have various diseases like skin cancer and all we have that so we should and first and foremost thing global warming is to be make the world warm and if the world will become warm then we cannot survive you must have seen during summer days the temperature shoots up to 48 degree or 49 degree just in at 100 degree water boils so to regulate the temperature we should plant trees and we should less pollution we should make less pollution we should lessen the pollution pollution and we should we should plant trees these are the only remedies plant trees if we will not do this then our coming generations will and cannot survive understood